butterflies in the stomach yes if you don't have butterflies in the stomach there's a problem okay first of all okay uh, it's a good thing that you get butterflies in the stomach because you're really concerned that will this succeed will it and it's not written anywhere that it will succeed okay so now you have to then ask yourself what can go wrong and what can go right what do i do to boost the chance of the things that can go right and what do i do to things to deal with the issues which are are are, are likely to fail and if you do it in a calm mind i'm sure you will suddenly find the butterflies have disappeared but still you might not succeed so you have to have some plan in, in these days startups come and say oh we got start i got plan a and also a plan b so nothing to worry and i tell them look in most of our businesses it's plan g which has worked not plan a or b or c you have to be flexible to know that if the moment there is some signal this is not working you move to the next plan or change certain things uh, and you suddenly find that there is it's going to work because it, in your field of entrepreneurship there's no textbook written that this is how you should do it if it was written it's a bit of problem because everybody would be doing it and there'd be no opportunity so it's a good thing this this book has not been written on how to succeed in an idea that you're pursuing but if you can ask yourself what are the things that can really make this a success and just see what can be done to boost that and the things that can go wrong how do i cover it up you'll never cover all risk but you'll reduce risk to manageable levels thank you sir are you ready to move to another model if that model if you try it is not working but only thing don't copy what somebody else is doing because then you'll always be behind catching up super thank you so much raj